Hi everyone and welcome to the newest episode of Curious Business Talks. Today I'm reading my article about how learning about user experience motivated me to change my life. Stay tuned until the end. I quit my job, started freelancing and I'm figuring out everything on the go. What keeps me going is my curiosity and ability to solve problems, from chaos to uncertainty to order and semi-comfort. Imagine graduating from university with broad major you still have no idea how to use in your professional career path. But knowing the direction helps heaps after you have tapped into many business areas beforehand and selected what suits you and what doesn't. And guess what? presents you with an experience you haven't thought would be useful. Just a mental note for me. I'm not sure if it is because it is the end of 2022 or if I have just decided to be more open and vulnerable in my writing to connect with my audience. I don't know, but I will write what feels fitting for me now. Where to start? Maybe with child labor, huh? Don't gasp, just laugh because in many households it is normal. Living in an Eastern European country, the household class might be insignificant in this context, means being handy and involved in chores. Or at least the majority of my peers were like that too. This suggested that when your family has unconventional jobs or lots of part-time jobs, they would bring you with them and expect you to give them a hand. If not at their jobs, then definitely around the house, villa or the garden. For me, it was cleaning homes and pools, making hats and costumes, gardening, cleaning raw bamboo and pet sitting at one point. See, diversity and variety. But all this experience taught me was getting out of my comfort zone and creating order out of the chaos. Quote, curiosity about life in all of its aspects, I think is still the secret of great creative people. Leo Burnett, end of quote. Through helping out here and there, I learned the most important skill, communicating clearly. On top of that, the demand increased when my mother tongue language was not enough and I learned to speak English with practice and out of need rather than waiting for the proper lesson at school to come. And visual learning was of a big help in this task. Watching lots of movies and TV series only in foreign languages helped me develop my receptive multilinguism. Empathizing and observing people's interactions also made my learning very easy and interesting with every following encounter. Quote, Receptive multilinguism is a mode of interaction in which speakers with different linguistic backgrounds use their receptive preferred languages while understanding the language of their speaker. End of quote. So, in high school, interpreting and translation become a part of my day-to-day life. Taught me a lot about weight of words and their meaning for different people, timing, and how people change when they express themselves in other languages. During my interpreting phase, I also dabbled in real estate because the expats needed not only translator or interpreter, but also a negotiator with the buyers and sellers online and live. Dabbling in so many different areas, I could see the difference even then between good customer experiences. Hanging out with older people taught me a lot about people's feelings, egos, greed and values. Opened my eyes to their user experiences and what is important for them. Helping with their devices was part of my package of services as well. You name it, from mobile phones to tablets, TVs, monitors, laptops, sound systems, and sometimes even home appliances. Quote, we will ask Nicoletta if she can help you. She is good with computers. End of quote. This was my older friend's go-to recommendation. Imagine how extroverted I was and in need of extra cash that I was even for some time a distributor for Oriflame. Yes, during high school, I was living in student dorms and I was surrounded by lots of colleagues and peers that were moderately interested in the brand. And probably since then, I learned a lot about networking, selling without being sleazy, how to care about the customer's actual needs rather than the profit, and how long-term business relationships are as good as one-time sales. Accomplishing sales in different variations taught me of so many different approaches. For example, 
One short week in Golden Sands was enough to realize how the old school selling by interrupting, shouting and being pushy to the customer doesn't work anymore. Second one, while working at Decathlon, I learned a lot about values, brand identity, leadership and how to shift focus from making a sale to making a good customer experience. Quote, you can't use up creativity. The more you use it, the more you have. Maya Angelou. End of quote. And here I am in 2023, learning about multinational companies and different industries, helping and collaborating with motivated entrepreneurs and business owners to create better experiences and more meaningful designs in online presence. Like in user experience and in life, there is always another round of iterations where you can apply the feedback and improve. For the new year, I also have created a minimalistic planner to track my goals and tasks. You can find the link in the comments. Thank you for listening. Follow and subscribe for more. And please leave a comment with your feedback and comments about this article. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite hardworking job that you are glad you had. See you in the next one. Bye!